Hello, welcome back to another uh, AS Labs tutorial here. I'm going to go over using Nessus, a uh, tool for vulnerability assessment used uh, to uh, basically scan a machine to check for any known exploits that can be uh, executed on that machine or if it is in good shape. So I have a VM here, which is going to be the machine we are going to assess. Uh, it's 192.168.1.90. And we're going to launch the assessment from this guy here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And this is, or Tenable just released a new version, uh, Nessus 5. Uh, so we just got that updated here. I'm going to go ahead and log into the web interface. Okay. So this is the uh, Nessus web interface here. What we want to do, since we don't have any reports or any scans set up, we want to go ahead and set up a new scan. Uh, but before we do that, if you want to, you can modify the scan policy uh, to include or exclude particular checks on different vulnerabilities. Uh, but what we're going to use is the internal network scan here on our scan. Uh, so let's make a new one. We're going to come over here to scans, hit add, and we'll want to give it a name. And we want it to run now, but you can have it scheduled if you'd like, uh, if you want to uh, keep consistent checks in your environment. And let's choose internal network scan, and let's give it a target here. And that would be, I believe, yes. And we're going to go ahead and launch that scan. Now this is going to take some time, um, typically about 10 minutes or so. Uh, depending on your scan policy. Uh, so I'm going to let this run and then uh, we'll, we'll come back as soon as it... So the scan just finished here. Uh, say it took about five minutes or so. Seeing these are on VMs, uh, may have been a little bit faster since they're not actually going across the network. <coughs> um, so the, the scan here disappeared and uh, we're going to come over here to reports and here it is. So let's take a look and see if we even have anything at all. And we do. Um, the box that we are uh, scanning against here is a Windows 7 uh, unpatched, I believe. Let's take a check here. Yeah, so it's just Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, never been updated or anything like that. So this is how it comes. Um, so you see we have one critical severity uh, problem here. Uh, here, DNS resolution. There we go. So, in order to uh, to patch this, you can take a look at this TechNet bulletin here uh, in order to get the patch to correct this. Um, <clears throat> you can exploit it too if you would like. What you can do um, is if using Metasploit, you can go to their website and punch in this CVE number. Uh, CVE is Common Vulnerability and Exposures. Uh, it's just a way to ID different um, different known exploits. Uh, so you can put that in, and if there is an exploit code created for it, you can then load that into Metasploit, uh, launch that against this target, and exploit this vulnerability. Um, you can also look at some of the other ones that came up. Here's a medium severity one with SIFs. Um, again, you can uh, you can check out additional information as you see here, uh, and it kind of gives you a description uh, as this one is vulnerable to man in the middle on SMB servers. And there's always typically low uh, severity ones here. They, you really can't do too much with them, uh, but if you do have a critical, um, more than likely you do have a remote exploitable um, host. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Uh, this is Nessus 5. It's a little bit different than 4 if you're familiar with it. A um, few GUI changes, a few, uh, few code changes here. Uh, so go check it out. I will be using Nessus in a, uh, in a new series I'm creating where we exploit uh, from beginning to end how to exploit a, a host. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Thanks, guys.